hi guys welcome back to my channel it's the girl back again with another video so guys in today's video is just going to be chat let's let's chat guys i don't think i've done this type of video before but i woke up today feeling actually very positive um yesterday and on friday hasn't uh, had yesterday and friday i uh, today is sunday actually <laughs> okay so friday saturday hasn't been that best of a day for me but this morning i actually woke up feeling very positive what's this thing it's picking up but this morning i actually woke up feeling positive and and i actually wanted to chat with you guys so let's discuss how are you guys doing how is the social distance happening going your self-quarantine how are you how are you dealing with it like from my previous video i talked about how I'm trying to balance my mental and physical health. And yeah, did you guys take any from it? Did you, are you guys doing anything from that video? Yeah, like I said, uh, today's video is just going to be us chatting, talking. Actually, a lot is going on, a lot is happening. And I actually woke up reading the news that some of the restrictions here in Poland has been... Uh, has been moved or some of the bands has been moved so now people can go to the forest people can actually take a walk ride their bicycle but still maintaining the distance you know They're still maintaining some distance between themselves which i actually think is a good one is a positive one for people who can also go to the park and and do what they want to do exercise run and still maintain the, the distance yeah so i think it's a positive one and which means uh, if everyone maintains this distance, I think everything will someday come to an end and we all get our lives back. So that's actually why I wanted to chat with you guys this morning to see and talk to you about the positive things. I actually I, the, to talk about the positive things that I feel this lockdown has actually brought to us, to me, to everyone that I know around me. Yes, we are sad that we cannot go out, but actually there are good things in this uh, lockdown. For example, I think in this, I was thinking that actually, you know, I have, where I live, like so many families, like so many, I didn't know we had so many families in my building till this lockdown, like every morning I hear kids making noise and talking, chatting with their family, like staying up late and all that. And that actually made me realize that actually this lockdown has made families to come together, you know? I mean, I'm not in there, I don't know what they're going through, but I know still it has given opportunities for families that... I know there are some husbands or wives that are always on the road, traveling, trying to make life better, following their careers, trying to get things working for their kids and family. And some of them that has always wished to spend time with their, with their kids. And this lockdown has actually provided that for them, you know. They can now stay at home and yeah, work, but still spend time with their kids. And also family bonding, you know. I see people, I hear people saying, oh, I need to call my grandma. I need to, if you're hearing noises, yeah, that's an example of what I'm saying. People are just, kids are just everywhere jumping and... Which, for me, it gives me hope because when they're screaming, I'm like, oh, yeah, people are still alive in this planet, you know? I mean, I'm sure that families that want to bond with their, with their kids, that want, that has always wished to have time with their kids, I think this has also given them the opportunity. So let's not, I'm not, let's not only concentrate on the bad things of this lockdown and also put, be, see the not, a positive part of it, which also family bonding is also part of it another thing i think is also a positive part a positive thing in this lockdown for me also that i have noticed is people being able to discover so many things about themselves you know i've heard people saying whoa i don't even know that i can do yoga <laughs> and the people said that they don't know that that yoga is for them or people have said oh i don't even know that i can actually sing write a song or Someone wrote me and said that she didn't... Oh, one of my friends actually just wrote a song. That's actually what I'm doing. She posted it and she was singing it and it looks so good. And I'm like, 
if she has been so busy, I don't think she will have time to sit down and write such beautiful song. And actually, she played it herself with her guitar. And Carolina, if you're, if you're watching this video, I'm talking about you. And yeah, and so many things people discovering, so many things about themselves, me as well, saying that, oh, that's having time for myself has actually um has actually made me realize so many things that i'm still saying and i'm still saying that i'm going to share with you guys very soon and another thing i think i have discovered that parents not only parents that this lockdown has really uh the positive part of it is that actually people let's be honest sorry about the noise let's be honest i feel like people has been saving <laughs> like you know people i hear people oh um i really need to save as much as i can because i don't know what is going to happen tomorrow people are afraid that maybe they will lose their jobs or something might happen and apart from their being afraid of the uncertainty i think it's just basically trying to spend your money on the things that are necessary i don't know about parents because i know for sure they'll be spending more on food and buying other household things but let's just think about it if you're just buying things that are required it's not like oh Tomorrow you're in the mall with the kids. Oh, mommy, I want ice cream. Oh, I, I want this. Or oh, you too, as a person that you're not even married. or you don't. But to be honest, I don't think it's a very bad thing. Is, is that bad that you're spending money on food or something like that? It's better than spending money on things that you don't need, you know? I think that's... Um, I think... I, yeah, I think it's better spending money on things that... that uh, like food than just wasting money on things that we don't need. And another positive thing that I have also noticed, this is, okay, I don't know about here in Poland, maybe because I try to listen to Polish news sometimes, but I still don't understand. I know about in my country that this has actually prompted people to be giving. Yes, like I said, the rich people in my country trying to give to the poor because, you know, um... Because you know it's lockdown, so the, the the markets are not opening. The work, people's job are locked down. Everything is on standby. Yeah? People are just giving things. Like in my country, I see this one is giving them a bag of rice and food and clothes. I don't know if they are clothing, but mostly food. Like, and for me, it brought out like, wow, the people are actually nice. People actually look out for themselves. I mean, when we are all busy going crazy doing things that we want or chasing after life and career and everything, I mean, it's fine. But I still feel like I be, I am super excited to see that people are, it's even their own initiative, you know? Nobody's forcing them to give. And they're going out there in the street and giving to widows, to less privileged children, to destitutes, to homeless people. It's really amazing. Like, it's really amazing. I don't pray this continues for a long time. I pray it's it um, stops soon but guys like it really really made me so happy to know that some people there are some people that are actually ready to share with the little that they have you know I, I was so happy to see that like people are actually giving they're actually thinking about one another and actually yes that's another thing bring, bringing me to my point I actually noticed that now people are checking on each other like people are calling hey I'm just trying to check up on you which usually never happens. Yes, we know ourselves in this world. So <laughs> in this world that we all do just go to work, come back and all that. But this has actually made people like, as you go to work, you come back, you're tired. You're, oh, you're thinking about, oh, tomorrow, what am I going to wear to work or blah, blah, blah. But this ha actually has made people come together. Let's just pause, stand, think and rethink. <laughs> that's what I feel like. Like, that's what I feel like. We just needed to just give ourselves a break, yeah? Just having a little break to think about everything, to see things. And people are actually checking up on each other. And for me, it's a positive thing. And I hope when this thing stops, we continue like that. And yeah, and a very good thing. And another thing I, I also notice is people are now trying to live. I'm not saying, I know people have been trying to live healthy, but even people are now trying to even live more healthy more healthier than before like my mom called me oh make sure you take your ginger garlic and 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 honey tea every morning and blah 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 people are just trying to i see i go on youtube on or i go on google 
I see tons of food that can help boost your immune system. People are creating different things that will help you in this period of time. People have, are noticing the importance of actually living healthy, eating healthier, eating cleaner. And actually, it's good. I mean, I've made them, I, this has made people try to live more healthy, try to live a clean life. And also, people are now cleaner than before. <laughs> I see everyone dusting their house every second, cleaning, sanitizing. Everybody's trying to be clean. And I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know how people, I'm sure people usually normally clean once a week or once a month. But now, especially parents with kids are just cleaning like, <laughs> the, the OCD level is so high, like cleaning all the time. Even me that I don't have kids, like every time I leave the window open all the time, before I do anything on the desk or something, I try to clean. I try to clean. Even my door that I don't even go out most time, I try to clean the handles and things like that. And it has made you aware of certain things that you are not aware of as in you're so aware of so many things that could go wrong or something so many things that could get better if you try hard or something like that positivity in this in, the, in this time yeah it's not all that bad <laughs> i mean it could get worse but still it's still better than what it would have been if we don't have the kind of system or the kind of things that we have now so i i just Guys, I just there's nothing really serious in this movie in this video. Why do I keep saying movies? There's yeah, that's just what I wanted to chat with you guys. Like I feel like we should just also focus on the positive part. Like these things that we have in spending time with our family, trying to live healthy, trying to check up on people, giving, all that is a positive thing that we really didn't see a big deal in it before. But now we can See that it's actually matters, making people happy, checking up on our grannies. It's it's good. So guys, let me see if you let me know if you also see any positive thing in this lockdown. If it has also brought you has also helped you in saving, yeah. <laughs> For most important, if you have been able to save something or not, or you're still spending the amount you're spending before. Has it made you come close to your family? Do you feel like you're bonding with your family or not? Let me know in the comment section. This is just my point and my view regarding the pandemic and the positivity I am seeing in it. See you guys again in my next video. As always, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know what you're doing. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and put on the notification button so that whenever I upload, you always see my videos. See you again in my next video. Bye.